Hey guys, it's Ben out. The fade in didn't quite work because I'm currently using a different thingo for uh, timing. My phone, which I usually use, is a bit busted. So hopefully I'll be getting a new one, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, now, also, you may be wondering why is the audio all funky? Why is it good? Why does it sound like a capture card quality with a proper microphone instead of just a camera? But yet, the video is still with camera. Well, that's because my laptop, I have kind of gotten it to do it. Last last time, I was a bit pressed for time, so I didn't quite get enough... I couldn't quite uh, set, it, set this all up. I, I had it going before in an attempt to record a different LP, but of stuff that LP, because one, it wasn't too fun to watch. I don't know. It wasn't too fun to watch. I was on it for about an hour, so... It wasn't too much time I used. Alright. There's a lot of fun stuff on this stuff. I don't know why I'm going down here. Maybe for extra star bits. Yeah. Going for the star bits. And death, maybe. I like death. Okay, off we go. That was roughly good. Alright, all good. I don't know why I did that though. Alright, off. One. Two. Three. Okay, that's kind of a weird thing, oh. It doesn't entirely work the best. So that's how you beat those guys. So anyway, hopefully I'm gonna get eight or so stars this far, because I'd really like to get more stars. I think I gotta kill all the guys. You can tell where they are, because there's the trails. Whoa, jeez. What the heck happened there? Alright, where are you at? It's probably three of them. Are you up here? I heard him. Somewhere. Where are you? Oh, there you go. There you go. The question mark planet. What does it mean? It means someone was clever at the level design. Now here's something you can get quite a lot of extra star bits if you grab onto one of those. I think it depends on which one you get. Then you can get more. Maybe. Anyway, all you gotta do is get an extra light. Nah, but yeah, this star bits all around. Yep, that's about it. I just want to do that just for the extra star bits, because who wouldn't want extra star Oh gosh. But yeah, don't touch the thorns. It's not good for your health. But you can completely bypass that planet. Now I'm not going to know the time, because I'm currently using my sister's iPod, which I hate. <laughs> it's actually a first gen 2, so it doesn't even have like a proper speaker. It, it makes noises. It clicks and it makes the funky noises. Um, when there's alarm and stuff, it doesn't actually have like a proper speaker to play sounds, regular sounds out of it, just manages to make its own noise. Now I like this idea, I mean that's pretty awesome, just look at that lighting, 
Seriously, even modern day lighting doesn't compare to this. Oh, that wasn't it. Um, but yeah. Well, hopefully I'll be actually recording this quite well, because I'm currently recording this on the Sunday. I usually record this on the Friday. We're almost done with this star, although I don't know how long I've been recording, because... Jeez, the, iP the, the iPod and the screen blank blanks out. Well, I'd like one of those. No, I wouldn't. I'm going to be pro. I'm going to do this with three star bits. Star points. Health. So anyway, here's a fun boss. I believe it appeared in the sequel for Boss Blitz Galaxy, I think. You beat... Oh, no, you don't. Ah, uh, yeah. You gotta wait for it to get up. Yeah, I remember. And then you... Hit him on the belly. And that fur, goodness. The time and money it would take to render that fur. So you gotta wait for him to hop up. That's that's a trick. He's up, so you do that, and it'll start running away. Which allows you ample time to hit him on the face. You only have to hit him twice after that first one. Technically it's three stage, because you gotta hit him three times, but. Ooh. Oh, watch out. You gotta do it again. And then, there you go. It's kind of tricky. It requires a bit of thought, and that second phase, you know, like, you wouldn't be expecting that. So, other than that, though, it's, he's not too tough. I don't know whether he reappears, though. I believe there's... I believe it's either the, the comet in this place. The Prankster Comet in the Gusty Garden Galaxy. I believe it's on that star. I think it's a speedrun, maybe? Or it's a Daredevil. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's a speedrun. But... Oh, gosh. Yeah. By the way, pretty much after this point, I really don't know that much about this game. I, I've only really played through this game about twice. You know, Mario and Luigi. You have to play through it twice in order to get the ending. In order to completely beat it, but... Otherwise... Um, apparently we're seven minutes in, which is not good. I think the clock is lying. Eh, eh. Ooh, yeah. Gravity Scramble. Oh no, it's one of these gravity stars. Oh, I think it's because I <laughs> sidetracked for like a couple of minutes, yeah. I mean, I've got plenty of star bits, so I'm not even going to go after that guy, because I know I'm going to get sidetracked. I believe there's a hidden star in this star. I definitely know that. Because where else would it be? You have to get all three of these. Yeah, there you go. You get a bunch of star bits. Then you get the rainbow star, which will allow you to fly over here, and you see that golden chomp? Guess which one of these you have to hit. You can get a lot of star bits this way, yes. But you want to make sure you hit that golden chomp, because otherwise you don't get the hidden star. Apparently it's probably one of the most obvious ones, because seriously... You know, it's kind of hidden. You have to get the three thingos, and if you don't know the stage, then you're probably not going to get it on your first go. But otherwise, yeah. So two stars in tw twenty, uh, twenty, uh, nine minutes. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, we can squeeze in a bit more, a bit more stars in there. Squeeze in a bit more stars. That sounds kind of bad. So yeah, um, so yeah, my phone is bust. Yeah, if you have an Android, don't go around trying to petition the SD card. Just get a phone with a lot of internal memory. I've been using a HTC, uh, HTC Desire for quite a while, and just, you know, it, it has horrible internal memory. So, 
Yeah. Yes. So I was going, oh, I'll, I'll petition the SD card. I'll get a lot of stuff out of that. I'll get a lot of internal memory again. Now remember, don't go too high. You want to still be in the gust, and I completely missed that. You want to, yeah, you want to stay in the gust. Because otherwise, because it'll keep pushing you forward. And of course, oh crap. You'll get a lot of star bits if you keep the, um, if you get all those thingos. Okay. It also really helps if you do get them all, because then you get to pass by all this. Ow, my face. Ah. Other than that, we're almost there. It's just up there. No more jumping, though. Or well, no more. Ah, uh, launch stars. There you go. Oh, and there's star chips. <laughs> why, would the, why wouldn't there be star chips? It kind of worked. I'm gonna need to grab that. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Right, where is it gone? Oh, maybe it's down. Yeah, that's it. That is. Oh my gosh, I just can't remember these stages. Ow, yeah, my face. See, if I had done it in order, I would have saved about a minute of time. I'm gonna screw this in, I'll get some star bits. Or coins. I really don't need coins. Because seriously, coins have no purpose. There you go. Climbing poles. No. Quite a few star bits in this stage, actually. Okay, so watch out. There's a sign. It even tells you to watch out. Oh. I like how the Goomba falls down. So remember to stand on the light sections, because otherwise. Is that gonna oh, what? Serious? I couldn't do anything to help to stop that. Life's shroom, don't need that. Just keep hitting the, the arrows. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, I think I go up. No way, you don't go up here. But yeah, remember the light. You're gonna need to stand on the light. Ah. Okay. Um, just lots of stuff. Kind of reminds me of Sunshine a bit, even though I've never played Sunshine. I mean, Sunshine just had a lot of stages with just random platforms. In fact, up until recent years, a lot of games didn't really have stages like that. Um, well, a lot of games didn't really have full stages filled with... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bit... Blah, in my mouth today. Which sounds very wrong. I'm sorry. Um, three stars, I'm not too happy with that right now, considering we're almost halfway. Maybe we'll get some secret stars or something. Or we can do the Daredevil comment. I told you it was Daredevil, so it'll drop us right off at the boss, which is good, because I managed to beat that boss without getting hit once, which I didn't know what to do, so I guess it's okay. Major Burrow's Daredevil run, yeah, there you go. Um, but... Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing a Croc Legend of Gobos next, which you probably know about if you're watching my own videos, but, um, Croc Legend of Gobos is a good game, but, it, but a lot of the stages just involve random platforms lying about. 
Oh no, he's angry. Yeah, you do. Ooh. You do see a lot of random platforms and stuff. Are you kidding me? There you go. Um, and kind of Mario 64. Mario 64 had quite a few stages. Rank or Ride was, was a bit obvious because it involved a lot of flooding platforms. Oh, here he comes. Again, I don't, I don't see this guy being too difficult. He just takes quite a few hits and all, you know. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna back it up. I'm, I'm gonna say an opposite spectrum of the thingo. Um, what was it? Uh, I'm gonna say Quake is a shooter. I know. But it does involve a little bit of platforming, and a lot of the stages don't actually involve randomly floating platforms. A lot of things have connections to other things in that game. So if you're gonna say like Doom or whatever, Doom, <laughs> you can't tell in Doom because Doom only has um floating. Doom only has walls and ceilings that move. <laughs> the doors are basically just walls that move up. Pretty much. Um, but anyway, this is Honey Climb Galaxy. I should be talking about the actual game now. Um, it's basically just one concept: climbing up the wall. And I think there's two walls. So I guess what item I'm using here, which we never used outside of Honey Hive Galaxy. I'm sorry, we're up to the, like the fourth dome. I understand we've we've barely got half the stars. We've only got a fair bit over the third. Now remember, don't fly out. This is experience talking. Don't fly too far from the wall. Because otherwise you'll lose its gravitational pull. That being said, you can you can use this and just kind of hover over the, the platforms or the honeycombs. For example, I'll just kind of float up here. I'll need to get that. Oh, I have to look too far away. That's very neat of you. Game. I appreciate all your vanilla-flavored star bits. Did I just jump before I got there? Oh my gosh, so many star bits. So many star bits. Oh, there's three walls, okay. Oh crap. <laughs> well, that worked. I'm gonna be thankful if that's a shortcut. Yeah, that was a shortcut? Oh, a checkpoint, jeez. Alright. Alright. Let's beat this kid up. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Honey, hi. So many starbits, so many starbits. Starbits everywhere. Maybe it's just supposed to be a difficult galaxy, I don't know. It's not, it's not actually that tough, I just kind of really didn't see that one coming. Yeah, you see how gravity's working? I'm gravitating towards the wall. But if I fly too far out, or I land on the other one... So yeah, just lots of climbing. You can try killing them, but what's the point? Boom. Okay, so that's star number five, and we're 19 minutes in. I'll be pretty happy with that. I'm kind of happy, although... Okay, from... From the bedroom onwards, so basically the three ladder domes, there's three main galaxies, so unfortunately... Uh, <laughs> I need to explain myself. There's three galaxies, there's three main galaxies in each of the domes uh, from bedroom on, which is in the latter half of the domes. But that basically meant that... That means that there's more stars and less gimmick galaxies, so to speak. Speaking of gimmick galaxies, this is not one of them. This is the Freeze Flame Galaxy, which 
kind of made a comeback in the second game as the Shiver Burn Galaxy. This galaxy has the most annoying purple coin mission ever. I'm pretty sure you guys know about the purple coin missions, but think about this. This is a huge open area. There's purple coins. And there's specifically a hundred of them. Which basically means you can only go... There's only so many you can do. I think you gotta go underneath and then you gotta... hit something. Oh no, you gotta talk to Mr. Penguin Face. <laughs> Can you catch him? So basically, this is how skating works. I think we've already started skating before, but basically, do a spin and don't hit the rocks. Do a spin and you'll start actually skating, which will allow you to spin into things and you also speed up if you jump. Which is good, because then you. But just remember that. And I believe if you crouch, you'll stop. <laughs> if you crouch, you'll stop, um. Uh, skating and just start sliding. But it's good because apparently people hate ice levels and this actually makes it a lot more bearable. It's still kind of challenging to control, yes, but there's never really many times when you'll be just slipping off because of bad controls. It works very well. Um, so anyway, this is... Oh. Okay, I guess just don't stand there. Don't touch the water. It makes your visor all fancy. There you go. It's a bit of a shortcut. You can jump up here instead of having to go through all that. Which I think you'll actually get the ice flower. I believe we've shown that off before, but... Alright, I gotta go this way. Oh, I think there's a nice flower over there. You have to note that the flowers, they're temporary. In fact, yeah. Kind of weird how they took out the ice flower in the sequel. The spin also isn't terribly great, but... Why did I need this? Oh, here for that. Need to cool off the jets. Now there, I believe there's a hidden star actually in this stage. And I think it's up here. There's a nice flower there, but... Or maybe it's down below. But yeah, you see how there was stuff over there? Oh. Oh. It's actually a very strange boss, to be honest. Now here's what you gotta do, just jump off, because then you can get the ice flower again. It's a very odd stage. I, I don't know, I just don't remember it that much. I think it's because this guy doesn't get a mention anywhere else. Yeah. Oh no, now he's got those things. Don't die. Yeah. That's what you get. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now, the hidden star, I am... I have no clue where it is. It'd probably be over somewhere to the right. Maybe down below. But, um... Yeah. Oh, gosh, I got six minutes. Can I grab two stars? I'll be quite happy with two more stars. Because I've got six, which was as many as I got last part, and last part just had so many fails. This, no fails yet. Which is good and all. But, I need to watch out for these other two stars. I believe the next star is going to be quick-ish. 
Then again, Shiverburn actually had, in the sequel, Shiverburn had a boss which I can't really remember that much. It was like a giant robot. That's not the next galaxy. What? Spoilers. Yeah, Freeze Flames Blistering Core. This one's a f fancy one. Basically, since we've since there has only been one star with one of the flowers, which was the Ice Flower, I believe Fire Flower will appear somewhere else. Um, oh, Star Chips, yay. My favorite. Get the Star Chips. Now, the next galaxy is probably a fan favorite. But I'm not gonna get to it, am I? Well, okay. Why? Who needs the? Oh, okay. I guess I need them. Now, casually, this is around. This planet is around, and it's a very cool planet. No pun intended, because it's not cool. So basically, those things will bounce off each other, but they'll also, like, roll into you and try and kill you. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a special item. It's up here, I believe. Can you actually... No, I don't think you can see what's breaking, because you're going to need something. Now remember, lava is not good for your health, so don't try and touch it. Touch this, and I'll make this item appear. Holy snap, I think we've never seen it before. Kinda weird. We're introducing items still now. But again, like the ice flower, it's still temporary, which is. And it's also. It doesn't grant you immunity to. It doesn't grant you immunity to lava, which is a bit of a shame. But it does let you, um. light these torches and use a fire. Fireballs, yum. You want to like that, because I'll bring this up, and that's all you need for this set of fire flower. And then you jump, and then you jump. <laughs> okay, who likes physics? It's in a bubble. I don't believe you need to kill any of these guys. You do need to light those torches. It's a lot less annoying to light. Or maybe you just gotta light that one. No, you gotta light the other one. Alright, back it up. Alright, come on. Come on, we can do this. Alright, what? What am I doing wrong? There you go. Up you go. Oh gosh. <laughs> I really like what they're doing with the stage actually. Very nice stage. Go roll this forward so you can fall off. <laughs> Oh great, it's the same setup it's in the Sanctuary of Stone and Fire. I don't care. You're gonna need a fire flower, because then you're gonna need a Ah, you're gonna need to burn your butt. Ah. Go, Char- Oh, you gotta be kidding, Charlie. How'd you not hit that? Alright. Come on, we can do this. The stars were just right there. And you jumped into the- Oh, for the sake. There you go, you got it. Just don't die! Oh, goodness. Oh, 
I know you get a coin from those guys, but I don't care because the star's right there and I'm gonna rhyme because it's the time to rhyme. Ah, oh, gosh. You know, it's a shame. I've got 20 seconds. Ah, oh, I totally wanted to get another star done. I'm kind of happy. I've gotten... I got kind of a progress, but again, I don't know. I think it's maybe just because the beginning is a lot easier and I know it a lot better. And I'm kind of happy with that. But I wish I could get as many stars as... And it went off. That's that's why I hate the iPod Touch, because you can't hear it. You cannot hear it. It's still going off, too. Um, but yeah. I'm going to need to get quite more stars in there before I can get the Hungry Loomer. And I'm, I think the Hungry Loomer is 800 star bits, so for the most part, I'm good there. But other than that, yeah, I guess I'll just see you next time. Yeah. Okay, 48 stars, yeah. Pretty good. Okay, that's it.